What's up everybody, it's George Gabriel and this is part five of the auto load, creating an amazing expandable logic template. In part four, we took some of the garage band elements out of our auto load and we set some of our initial settings in our first screen. Now in part five, we're gonna expand those settings and we're gonna expand those screens to have three screen sets. One screen set that is the one that we've been working on, another screen set that's our mix screen set, and a third screen set that is going to be where we do our audio editing. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have everything nice and nice the way that we like it here. And what we're gonna do is look at screen sets. Now, you'll notice this little number one up at the top and that means that you're on screen set one. You may not have ever noticed it before or you might have accidentally hit a number at some point and then realized all your screens are gone and go, what happened? Well, this is where we put our screen sets. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is have you look at this screen set menu and you can name it. I'm gonna name this main. And this will be now our main screen set. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do, which is really important, is lock this. Now, what does locking do? Well, let's say you start zooming in and then all of a sudden you decide to like mess with the windows or whatever, and you're like, oh no, what have I done? To simply get back to your screen set, all you have to do is hit the number one, everything comes back to normal. So you lock your screen sets. Now we paid attention to making this screen set nice and that was for a reason. And that reason is we're gonna duplicate this screen set for our additional screens because our settings are already done here. So if you go to this little menu here and you say duplicate, you say, hey, duplicate duplicate to screen two and the name is not going to be copy of main it's going to be mix so this can be our mix screen I click ok and now you'll see it looks a lot like the first one it's just because it's duplicated but this is where we're going to really set up our mix so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the edge of this and squeeze this and make this shorter and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the window menu and say hey let's open a mixer and you'll see that you get this mixer window and the mixer is essentially every channel you have in this session but if you expand this window out you can see you can filter this Make sure that, first of all, that you have all selected because we're gonna filter this by getting rid of the things we don't want in this mixing window. And because we're setting up our buses at this point, all I want to see is the buses. But do make sure that you have all because it gives us all of our channels. Once you verify that, go ahead and take off everything else with the exception of bus. And also verify that this is on the smaller setting, not the larger setting, because again, real estate's the name of the game. And finally, this little legend that we have here, we don't need this. Uh, it's just redundant information. We kind of know what we're looking at. So go ahead and hide the legend. Now what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this little window and make sure you give yourself enough room so when you add plugins you do have some room left over. And we're going to throw it down in this corner. On a laptop it's a little bit more tricky because you really do have less space to work with. So we're going to put this down here. Now a couple things you'll notice that the space I have left is not going to be able to accommodate all the other stuff I want. So when we're really looking at all of this stuff here there are things that we can get rid of. How do we get rid of them? Well if we go to view channel strip components we can start to take some of these things out that are not necessary. A couple of things that are taking up a lot of space is the EQ thumbnail. And Now if I'm working on a desktop I probably want that EQ thumbnail here but since I'm on a laptop and I need to get more space I'm going to get rid of that EQ thumbnail let's see I do want settings other things we can take out that are taking up a lot of real estate is the icon so let's get rid of the icon and now you can see we have a shorter area so I can kind of squeeze this up a little bit again we want to leave a little bit of space and if we need to take some more things off later on, well, we can do that. But for now, let's just squeeze this down like this. Now, it's important that you unlock screen two because if you don't unlock it, this will go away once you hit the number two. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open another mixer. Again, we're gonna make sure that all are selected. And now all we want on this is our auxiliaries. We don't want our buses because we already have those. And we want just the master and the output. Don't need the MIDI. Again, we wanna make sure that this thing is selected, the smaller, and again, we will take the legend off. And so we will squeeze this and we will do the same thing. We're gonna get rid of the icons and we'll get rid of the EQ thumbnail. And we'll squeeze this up a bit and we'll move this over here. Okay, so let's move this all the way to the corner here and we can gain some space on this one too. Let's go ahead and do that and get these two even with each other. Beautiful. Now we're gonna extend this window to meet it. And there we go, there's our mix. So at this point, we wanna make sure that this is all tightened up and locked. So we're gonna hit lock 
And now we can go back and forth from screen set one to screen set two, and everything is going to be where we want to have it. But let's go back to screen set one because we're gonna make our editing window. And we're gonna do this by duplicating screen set one. And for screen set three, we're gonna just call this edit. And all this is, is when I want to quickly edit something, I don't wanna to have to zoom in, zoom out and all that. Uh, I just wanna create something that's a quick, I hit a number and I'm quickly on an edit screen. So all I'm really doing in my edit screen is just blowing it out. So I'm just zooming way in. And you choose how much you want to zoom in, but typically when I am doing this, I'm doing an audio. So let's just zoom it in so the first eight tracks are here, because that's where my audio is going to reside. And that should be good enough now. Depending on how you edit audio, you can change your tools or do things that you want to do to customize this screen. But for the purposes of this, this is what I'm doing. And in order to keep this setting the way that I want to, I do have to unlock it and then relock it. And now I've got my screen sets one, two, and three. Now you may have the need to create four or five screen sets. Maybe you have some specific screen sets you want. You can literally put plugins on a screen set. Maybe you have a mastering screen set or whatever it is that you want to be able to see everything with. This is obviously fully customizable to your needs, but here I'm just covering these basic screen set needs, which is screen one, if I'm just scoring and I don't wanna see the mix or anything like that, and I just wanna have as much amount of real estate as I can, I'm gonna use screen one. When I get into my mix, I'm gonna use screen set two. That way I can see my tracks but I can also mix them properly and if I'm editing I'm going to use screen set three and that's it for part five setting up your screen sets in part six we're gonna look at further customizing this color coding doing some custom icons doing some fine tuning to this hope you enjoyed this video if you do give it the thumbs up subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to be notified for future videos and comment let me know what you think of all this I'll see you on part six of this series thanks for watching George Gabriel music